Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Again, how are we? I'm back. I am back, back, back again. Um, how's everybody's Saturday going? Hope you all enjoyed the last little live Facebook that I did. Um, and just, um, and if you did miss it, you can scroll back down through and have a look and find it online. Uh, and then by tomorrow morning, you will find them all up on YouTube. Jessica will pop them all up on YouTube, um, ready for you to be able to watch it any time, just a little bit later. So, um, oh, hey, Michelle, you just put an order in for some magicals. Oh, you are going to love them. You absolutely love them. And if you have any questions, I'm right here. You only have to ask, okay? So don't forget that. And that goes with everything, guys. So no matter what you buy, if you decide that, oh, look, you know, I need this because Natalie demonstrated it and then you forget what to do with it, just flick me a message. Just ask, okay? I'm more than happy to help out. So, all right. So as part of the picture to page show this weekend, I'm doing a bunch of live Facebooks for you. Um just because I think you're awesome. So this morning we did magicals. Today, uh, this session here, I'm gonna have a bit of a play with some embossing powder, some stamping and some foiling and show you some really cool things and how easy it can be. Uh, so what we have got, sorry, I need a mouthful of coffee, hang on. That's better. <clears throat> Jess, can you run inside and grab my bottle of water, please? It probably needs refilling, thank you. Good work. Um, so what I have got here is some heat foil. It is not anything fancy, it's just heat foil. I've actually got it on um, in the online shop for about four bucks a packet. It is fantastic. And there's heaps of things that you can do with the foil. So I'm gonna do a couple of them today. Um, ages ago, I saw this really cool technique where you can stamp an image and then run it through your laminator. Oh, stamp an image, heat emboss it, run it through your laminator, add some foil and off you go. So I thought, you know what, I'll have a bit of a play with that and then show you guys how, um, how to do it. So it makes some, some fantastic bookmarks, I guess. Um, so what I have got, let me grab a piece of cardstock. Um, so heat embossing. So if we're talking about heat embossing, heat embossing is where you use some embossing powder. So I have got here a Lindy's embossing powder. You need to use an embossing ink. So this is a medium for the embossing powder, embossing powder to stick to. Um, I've got a piece of paper down here to catch my excess embossing powder and I've got one of my stamps. So I'm going to apply the ink direct to the um, stamp and just do that. And the cool thing about it is, it, you can't really see it, but it's there. But as soon as you add the embossing powder, and for this particular technique, it doesn't matter what embossing powder you use, but the embossing powder needs to stick to that stamped image. Um, I've got a bit of a furphy there. Let's wipe that off. Um, and, and that's it. That's all you need to do. Uh, I then will take, pop the lid back on that guy. Take that and I can pop it straight back into the bottle. And it should be, if you don't spill it everywhere, it should be a no mess situation. But let's be honest, I always make a mess. So what I'm gonna do now is I need to heat set that. I'm gonna do that right up close under camera so you can see what point you need to take it to when you are heat embossing. All right, so you can see that all of those crystals are there. And what we're going to do is we need to melt all of those crystals. So this can't be done with a hair dryer. It can't be done with anything other than a heat tool. 
um, years ago, there were rumours of it being done with a... Rumours of it being done with a toaster. But you can see now that all of those little crystals have melted. And that is the look that you are after. All right, so... Um, and here's the cool thing about the Lindy's ones, because everyone knows how much I love Lindy's. The, they have a beautiful mica to them as well. So what I want to do next is I'm, I've got some baking paper, just normal Woolworths baking paper. Pop it in there and I'm going to pop some foil on top of it and run it through my laminator. I'm going to trim that down a fraction. So the only reason I am using the baking paper is just to keep the foil and everything in place when it goes through. So my laminator is on and hot. And a laminator is, um, I think I bought this one for about, I don't know, 20 or 30 bucks from Officeworks. And we just whip that through. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way and make a bit of room here. When it comes out the other side, theoretically, and I use that term loosely because I haven't done this much, so I'm totally just experimenting with it with you guys. Just gonna let that cool a little. And it's left my little stamped image there. So of course it, it's, got, it's squished out the embossing powder because it's totally smooth now. So that's why it's gone from being a skinny little image to a wide image. But you can make some fantastic little Christmas gift tags um, and you've got that to play with. So you've got the reverse to play with as well. So I have pre-stamped quite a few different little images here. So this is on craft with, oh look, and I just picked up a, a yellow embossing powder. Uh, let's have a go with another color and see how it goes. Um, let's just whack that on. and go again, run that through. So you can use any sort of stamps. Um, this is a paper rose stamp that I tested it with the other day and I got a little bit of over, um, over foiling, which is fine, I don't mind that. Louise is actually using that as her bookmark at the moment, so um, she's loving that. But you need to remember when you put it through the laminator, it's going to reset, oops, reheat your embossing ink. So you could lose the picture. So this is this is totally me experimenting. I don't know how it's going to go. But even so, I mean, that looks damn amazing on black cardstock. Ooh, I like it. So that's just a nice blue foil. And, and I've got these guys here to play with in my art journal. All right, so there's another one done. I'm going to make a little pile off to the side here. Yeah, it might be over near my computer. Jess. All right. This is, I don't even know what brand of foil this one is. It's one that I found floating around on in my drawer of random supplies that apparently I need. Um, okay, there's that one. Now, another thing, while these are going through, you can also do this with black and white paper. So Paper Rose have bought out a heap of, of these lovely monotone papers, and you can do that. If you can't find it, Jess, it doesn't matter. You can do um, these. I've got a Christmas pack on offer, actually, and a... Um, a black and white pack on offer as well. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh wow. Oh wow. So that's using an ultra new ultra new rose stamp. And even that looks amazing. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Um now let me do it with the pattern paper. So this is a paper from Paper Rose. And it is a they come in a six by six pack. And I'm just gonna pop that through. And then we have got these bundles. So you can buy a bundle for $14.50 where you get all of the black and white papers and you get a random color of foil um, and 10 cards. And then there's also the monochrome, monochrome basics pack as well, which is a random color foil and they are $14.50. So you will find those online as well. Um, so what should happen is that's going to stick to that so nothing more than a laminator no no fancy tool no fancy anything at all just a laminator so i'll do it again with a different color just to see if it was a fluke because i'm human because that happens straight through right so there's some really cool things that you can do with foil um I've got, this is the brand new Paper Rose stamp that came out only last week. So I'm going to put that one through. I'm just going to crack through these because they look like they're just going to be so much fun to do. Um, that one's come through. I mean, look how cool that is. Shimmery, shiny. Oh, and by the way, when it comes out of the laminator, guys, it's actually hot. <laughs> Oh, I, can't, I haven't got my comments on. There you go. All right, you ready? Ta da Yeah, baby! And you can use the negatives too. And you can use the negatives too. Jeez, you're learning, Jessica. I do listen. I just <laughs> don't show it. You do listen, but you don't show it. <laughs> God, teenagers. All right, so this one is the big one. I'm going to put that through sideways to do it quicker. Um, okay, so there are some other cool things that you can do with foil and alcohol inks. Okay, full disclaimer, I've never done this before. Okay, so there's, hello Tina. So there's a fairly good chance that I'm going to completely mess this up. But I figure if I'm going to it, mess it up, I'll do it in front of you. Hey, how bad can it go, right? And you can learn together. And we can all learn together. That's right. Thank you, Jessica. I have to do this one first. You ready for the big reveal? Oh, not as good. Okay, so why not? Oh, because my foil crinkled. Okay, we have a fail, ladies and gentlemen. First one of the day. So, for whatever reason, my foil crinkled and therefore it didn't pick up all of the embossing. Okay, back to the drawing board on that one. This is the Natalie May scrapbooking stamp. Let's go with, oh, let's do it on black. I haven't done that. Have I ever done it on black? Yeah, no, I did it on black. We'll do that one, that one. All right, so with the alcohol inks, oh, and my foil's crinkled again. Okay, with the alcohol inks, I watched one of my lovely, wonderful ladies, Michelle, do this uh, the other day at our retreat. So she put down on the Yupo paper a couple of colors. And yes, I should have put blending fluid down first, but I didn't, and that's okay. And it doesn't matter what colors you use. I'm gonna put a bit more green on up here. And then you need to just let it sit and dry for a moment. Because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put the foil on in a second and it's gonna to stick to the sticky bits. So, oh, Jess. Okay, so it did crinkle. We, both, we all knew it was gonna crinkle. I said it was gonna crinkle. And you can see the crinkle. And you can see the crinkle, okay. so. Let's iron out that. So that just needs to sit and dry without me accidentally putting my elbow in it, right? So this is one of my Natalie May. The laminate is possibly too hot. Yeah, I know. 
Try in a card. Oh, okay, a cardstock carrier. Jess, can you please grab me another piece of, um, just paper out of the printer would be great. Thank you for that feedback. This is all about me learning as well. So this is the best way to try a new technique is to just go, you know what, how bad can it go? Okay, so instead of the baking paper, we have got a, just a piece of computer paper. We've got our stamped and embossed image on black. And now I'm gonna pop a bit of the red on. And we're all gonna cross our fingers and our toes. All right, so what's happening over on this side because I am multitasking like a boss. I'm gonna get my straw out. Don't open it up. Oh. All right. So I don't, I don't want it to be totally dry, but it can't be totally wet. Oh, and I've got head spins from that. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, oh. It worked. I think I'm a little bit more in love with the foil, but yeah. that yeah. worked too. I love the black on red combination. The black on red combo is yeah, working beautifully. So that works too. Okay, this is almost dry. So how do you know that it's almost dry? You can still see it's a little bit shiny around the edges, etc. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna take some foil you would think. Where's that one here? And I'm going to, no, I'm going to cut a new bit. It's not like I don't have a shortage of foil. And I need to pop it on. It might have been too wet, but you know what? Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing, exactly. You don't know unless you try. Oh, I need to not use my fingernail because I leave fingernail marks. Do you have a Where is my fancy that'll do? No, it wasn't dry. No, I've messed it up, guys. But I haven't. Chuck it I haven't. No, you don't put it through. You don't put it through the laminator. It's about burnishing it. It's so you have got to rub it with your finger, and it's going to stick to the bits that are still sticky. All right. So it's worked a little bit in these areas here. So obviously, I don't have enough patience, which is absolutely no shock to anybody. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to try again. It's almost like you're using gold flakes, like gold foil. Yeah, like you're using gold flakes and gold foil. So if anybody else has done this technique before, I would love to hear some feedback. Um, like I said, I am all for trying new things and winging it because that's what we do. And I'm getting head spins. All right. So let's keep on going here with some more laminating while that's sitting and doing its thing. This is that last one. So I've got my heat, my stamped and embossed images. Another bit of foil. What have we got here? Let's go back to this beautiful pink. Hack through that. There, there. The paper. So yeah, you're totally right. I think the paper does work better. I'm just blowing on it. Okay, still coming off on my fingers. Okay, this time I won't go so full on with it. I will just do a little tester. I think it's all about timing. It is about timing. So I didn't want it to be, I don't need it to be too uh, too wet, but it has to be just 
dry enough. So I'm sitting it on top of the laminator. All right, let's have a look at this last one. Oh, it missed a bit, but the foil is sticking to that, to that stamped embossed image. So really, really cool technique. All right. That's looking a bit better. Let's give this a whirl. Oh, okay. It's working. So it's just about making sure that you get the right amount of stickiness left, okay? Now, is it showing up on camera? Oh, a little. There it is. So it's sticking to that sticky bit. So it's all about patience, which I have none of, clearly. But it's also a really good way of using up these little bits and pieces left over. All right, so what Jessica is throwing here next to me is she's had an idea. To use that and use a negative. So I've got some random old chipboard. So these are packets that I, you know, obviously have had for a while, don't know the brand, don't know what it is. Um, and there's no reason why I can't foil chipboard or even a veneer. So a veneer, of course, is a... Punch, punch out one of those little babies for me, Jess. Thank you. A veneer is a, a piece of almost like balsa wood. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use some gel medium or you could use glue, but gel medium I've got handy. And my finger, best tool that we have. And do that you know what i also want to do mm. can you grab me a stencil out of the it should be one up there grab one of my dot stencils please so now i'm going to stick that down to there i'm going to do the same thing so you could use glue for this you could use anything at all, but we are essentially just sticking it straight to the chipboard. I'll do that one. I'll do a different color. Baby what? It's like surgery. Here was my assistant. Thank you. And I'm just going to give that a second to catch. All right. So I'm giving you all the ideas today. Right. The next thing I'm going to do is I have a stencil. And a piece of cardstock. Surely there's a piece of cardstock right here. And, oh, okay, I've had a better idea. Mm -hmm. Shame things. Sorry, guys, what do you say? <laughs> this is a face stencil that you can see. Oh. And I have done this before and it has worked a treat. So with gel medium... Yes, I've done it. It works well. It just needs to be drier. Okay, thank you. It does need to be drier, and I obviously didn't have enough patience. So what I'm going to do now with my stencil, I'm going to Good idea. stencil with gel medium, and I'm just going to burnish it out a bit with my fingers just so that it doesn't take 25 minutes to dry because ain't nobody got time for that. Then Jessica's going to have a baby wipe handy to get it off of there. So you can see that gel mediumed image. What colour? Blue? Um, Green? Gold? Red? Oh, go gold. Gold. Okay, let's do that. Because that way you can use it in a... I have I've done this technique before for stencil girl and I did some beautiful cards and mm. uh, then I used the negatives in my art journal so I'm just going to pop that onto there and let that dry for a 
few minutes. I don't want to press down too much. I just want to let it sit and do its thing for a couple of minutes. I'll take that away. All right, let's have a look at these little leaves. So the only reason I let them dry on here is because I just didn't need to, to squish it all the way through. Paper. Where's my piece of paper? Just remember when you peel it off, be careful. When you peel it off, be careful? Why? Because last time it was didn't catch. Last time it did didn't catch. Oh, when we did the Christmas tree? Christmas tree. It was oh, bit... I had to double do it, didn't I? Hey, oh, I don't know, it was a bit hit and miss, but we got there All right. So now I'm going to put that through my laminator. So that is my chipboard, which is just that sort of coloured chipboard. So let's have a look at some of these pieces. Grab that out of the way. So I have taken the stamped, heat embossed a stamped image with, doesn't really matter what colour you use. And I've got some duds. All right, child, you are really sitting in the wrong spot there. Thank you. And we've created some really pretty pieces. All right, so let's have a look at this out of the laminator. Yes. Cool, feather. Okay, bin that. Where did I go? Oh, it's still in there. Hello, Vicky. Nice of you to join us. There you go. So I have now foiled a piece of chipboard. So that works pretty good too. And then I've got something that I can use on a card or whatnot. I've got a negative. I think I need just to give that a little longer. Let that sit and dry perhaps on there. Okay, so having a bit of a play here. And for those of you who've just joined, <laughs> just joined, uh, I'm playing with foil. I'm playing with stamps. I'm playing with paper. Um, the chipboard and the feather is really, really easy, especially if you, you do what I do. And I quite often ink my chipboard, then change my mind, but then I'm too stingy to throw out the piece of chipboard. So covering it in a piece of foil will work really well. Um, and it just looks... Really cool. Okay, so they're done. They're done. And then I've got these little negatives. So I've had some fails and I'm okay with that because that's how we try new things. Um, how do you use the negative? Jess, can you grab my little blue art journal, please? Um, so this is the, the Paper Rose monochromatic paper that you can just run through your laminator and heat set. So I've done it there. That looks great. We just did this one right at the beginning there's one I prepared earlier and you do get some fails and that's okay so this one was a bit grungier it's got some um, more grungier bits do I have the right journal? no the other journal that's why you can't find it oh the blue journal um, this one worked out perfectly so that's um, using a piece of black and white paper that we popped through. Here we go. All right, how do you use the negatives? This is the art journal page that I did quite a while ago using the negatives. So this is the negative of the face that I just stenciled. Um, I then stuck it down into my book. Oh, the gesso, Joe. hey honey. Um, so yeah, so that's how I use them. And then I just incorporate them into my page for that little bit of shimmer. All right, Fran, does that answer your question? 
Beautiful. All right, get okay, rid of that. We've also, we used puzzle glue on the last one. Yeah, we did. We just used glue with the last sort of chipboard to stick that down. Um, but yeah, you could make bookmarks out of these little negative bits or um, when you're playing with them with alcohol inks, you keep them to foil with. That one's um, my favorite. I think this is my favorite so far. This has worked out beautifully. Um, I could try putting it through the laminator again. That's a great idea. Should we give it a whirl? Mm. And should we do it with a different colour? What the, what, why not? What have I got to lose? What could go wrong? How bad can it go? And that one, I know what I've done wrong, so I know that that's not going to work, but... I should have let the gel medium go tacky first. So it's all trial and error. And this is how I learn new things as well, is just by winging it and going, well, how bad can it go? That's what it is all about. You gain more by trying something new than you do by not trying at all. All right, let's have a go this time. So this is going over oh, one of my failed attempts with a different color and oh ooh. okay so it did fill the gaps perfect and I did it in a different color and it has filled it with that different color so yeah it did actually work thank you for that great idea where was one of my other failed ones this one was a failure where was the blue scrap let's grab some some blue and I'll put the blue with the red because I reckon you know that could look pretty good okay I'm working up a sweat here with this laminator on next to me and it's 40 degrees outside which isn't helping anybody so that's a failed so I'm going to put it through again and see how I go okay so yeah trying some new tips and ideas there um, the only time that I have tried the alcohol ink one is here and I got that I got it to stick on the edges there and you can see what happened when I ran my fingernails over it you got this really dodgy sort of finish so that does work as well but hey trial and error try 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 all right let's have a go here So on the black card, it did also stick to my background here. So if I was going to turn this into something, I would go snip, snip, snip. And I've got a little bookmark or a tag or something like that. So it, would, it still works fantastic. I'm certainly not gonna discount it at all. Um, looks very, very cool. All right, let's wing this and see how it goes. I'm fairly sure it's not gonna work, but you know, stuff it. We'll put it through. Who was that that just tuned in? Tracy Thorne, I see you girl. You're gonna watch me fail at this because I know I've done this wrong. Um, but that's okay. That is okay. But I've made some really cool little pieces of foil that I just can't bear myself. Look at that. Look at that. So pretty. All right, so the reason why this is gonna fail is I should have let it sit and get a bit tacky first, okay? That is what I should have done. And that is very evident. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Or, or not. Or not. Well, I'll be damned. It's just been a couple of years since I've done this technique. So why can't you use your stencils? There's no reason, apparently. 
So I think that looks pretty great. Should we have an, oh, what else can we do? What else can I foil? I want to foil all the things now. Do your pop doll. <laughs> <laughs> so if I was to do it with the dot stencil, what would we do with that, Jessica? Would you put it away? It's behind you, I think. It's behind me, I put it away. So let's do it again to show you that it wasn't a total fluke. And I will do it. I will do it on a piece of Tim Holtz Heavy Craft. So the Tim Holtz Heavy Craft that came in this week is very nice. Gel medium. And I'm just going to polish it like this to help speed up the drying time. peel it off and I'm going to pop it on top of there on top of the hot laminator to just get a little bit tacky <laughs> oh bless you Jess sorry I tried to be quiet um all right so while that while Jessica's cleaning that stencil for me thank you which one did you use only the middle row yeah so here is the negative of that face now how can i show it on camera it looks really different it's a very um grungy sort of look so i'll pop that aside um and i'm going to give that a second longer to to dry so it's just going a little bit tacky but i'm thinking that that you know you could use all of your stencils with a little bit of gel medium to do that you can crack out your stamps pull out those stamps and foil those so foil so inexpensive and so really really easy to use if you have a laminator um, so like I said before there's that lovely patterned paper with a bit of foil over the top all right so that is now tacky because I let it dry on top of the laminator and I'll go for green Scissors. God, what a mess. Um, scissors, straight, cut it, put it on top. Just pat that down. And we're going to run it through. All right, so um, just in kind of finishing up, I'll go through some of the techniques I did just to summarise. Um, the sale ends at midnight tonight. Get on it, people. Get on it. So 15% off of stamps, 15% off of stencils, 15% off of all paper collections, Minte, 49 Market, all of the papers, 15% uh, off of alcohol inks, these babies, 15% off, and 15% off all things Christmas. I don't want any Christmas stock left in January, Please guys. Please not. buy the Christmas stuff. Um, so that is happening uh what else is there i'm going to turn that off because i'm sweating um and i've got another live facebook this afternoon planned what time is that jessica 4 30 and i've got another one between now and 4 30 i'm sure i don't think so i'll double check for you oh. quick, quick, quick. that didn't work because that was still wet so it spread out as it was going through the laminator but you get the gist of it. There's no reason why you can't use that as a background 3 anyway. 3.30. Okay, at 3.30, I'm going to come back and do another project. Um, at 5 p.m. on Picture to Page, I'm going to be doing a, another project as well. And depending on what crap there is on TV tonight, I might come back and do a, uh, a, a Facebook page tonight. Uh, Facebook Live tonight as well. So um, it's all about educating you guys and showing you lots of different cool techniques and showing you things that you didn't know yesterday, reminding you how to do something new and exciting. wonder what would happen if I put that through. Uh, no, it would probably melt. 
Um, so yeah, plenty of opportunities. So jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Um, don't forget about the no judgment shipping, meaning that you can order more than once. And the second order, you just pay for shipping uh, under the no, no judgment section, which is the one cent shipping. So awesome, awesome. Thank you guys. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Um, wash your hands, kiss your kids, pop a mask on and I'll chat soon.